Boys and girls, cats and squirrels, welcome back to Clash of Clans, and today we're continuing on with the Only This Troop series. Today we're looking at how good only miners can do on their own, you know, with heroes once and without heroes the other time. So if you guys enjoy the video and you want to know how good miners are alone, make sure to leave a like, sub, and comment down below. It's much appreciated, and it makes you a goat. And we're pushing towards a thousand subs, and it doesn't lose you anything to leave a like and sub. So do it right now. We're at about 800 right now. We gotta get there by June. Come on. And yeah, overall, we got 106 miners versus the world today. So yeah, I still haven't started clan games. Hear me out. I'm just gonna grind them tomorrow. Just kidding. I meant, I meant today. I meant today. I meant today. Later. I don't know why it registered as tomorrow. I meant later today. I guess my brain registered that as tomorrow. I don't know why. I'm an idiot. I do have maxed overgrowth spell that I haven't tried out yet. I want to try... If you guys know this strategy, it's like Root Riders with Valkyries. I, I've seen that strategy in my clan a ton. My friend Kyler over here has been using it. And it's it seemingly is pretty good. My Valkyries are just a little under leveled. Other than that, I I mean I could try with a power potion to see if it's any good for war at some point in time, but that's not the main purpose of today. Today we are seeing how well miners do. Burrowing under the base, tunneling, and trying to get loot for us. So we're gonna find a relatively okay loot wise town hall fifteen base, and then we're going to basically just Throw out miners and hope and pray it does good. I don't have my royal champion. Yes, I know. It gives them a little bit of a disadvantage. But that's okay. We'll take this base. To compensate, I guess we'll give them... Sure, we'll give them the log launcher as well. I feel like I have a callus or like a blister on my finger here. But I don't see it. Ooh, maybe it's right there. Maybe, I don't know. A little roughed up. Because, you know... I don't got soft hands. Alrighty. I don't know how to funnel this at all. All I know is that this is normally what I do when I'm trying to funnel my log launcher into the base for a sneaky goblin attack. This is going to be pretty horrible. I can guarantee you that. So, early king ability to try and get value there. I mean, king... It's just not doing what I want him to. If he can take out the queen, that'd be pretty nice. With no spells here, by the way. That's the main, you know, selling point for us today, obviously. Because we're trying to see how good miners are on their own as just an individual troop. Much the same as any other troop that we've been testing. My queen has actually got back up recently. She was upgrading to level 84. Now level 84. There's no funneling really going on here, as I wanted to do but i guess we'll just hope and pray that this is enough funneling i don't know um maybe a little bit of funneling like that i i have no idea how this is gonna work oh oh my gosh that that eagle artillery demolished our miners there i used the the eagle or the the warden ability there to try and make them survive a little longer but man this is not this is not looking good um, maybe we get the town hall actually maybe maybe ooh town hall this is the best yet i think well maybe not best yet because i think with the pekkas it was like a weak base and we had all the heroes and we three starred but that that was kind of iffy this is the best one since then which has been a couple times, you know? I do want to try that Valkyrie Root Rider strategy, though, like I said. So we'll train on up this. This is what I saw my friend's strategy as. And those two housing spaces go with this attack. I don't know what the... I think it goes with overgrowth, like an overgrowth spell or something. That's why I really want to test it out, because it gives me a reason to try out the new spell. And I'm like, that sounds like fun. Let's go. So, yeah. Been farming. Got a really good base here earlier today. I was doing some non-clan games attacks over on my builder base side of things. So, I got this stinking multi-mortar going. 
and my star lab is looking pretty good not to get too sidetracked i guess but just thought i'd bring that up a little bit i'm chilling today yet again oh this is good loot the town hall being a town hall 16 is not very nice i do not appreciate that but maybe we can just funnel it straight into the town hall maybe something like this I, I have no idea if this is going to work, but I mean, if we take out the splash defenses on their own, kind of, and maybe funnel it a little bit, the, just the heroes being down there is really, really bad for us. I'm going to try and send in the main troops now, I guess. This is our no heroes attack until inevitably this does not succeed, because it never does. And I'm, I'm waiting for the day where it actually works. To just spam one troop with no heroes and no spells. I don't think it'll ever happen. Although, potentially, potentially, hear me out. Baby dragons. We might actually be able to strategically do that enough to pick off enough buildings where we can get a one star maybe on its own? Maybe? I don't know. Like I said, I knew the attack wasn't going to go well. So, we're doing it with the heroes just coming in now to try and save our trophies because... Boom. <laughs> My trophies are dying at an alarming rate doing these one troop, no spell strategies. They're not even strategies. Why, why do I even call them strategies? They're just literal, like, memes almost. Like, they're, they're worthless. But they're funny. They're fun. And they're testing the overall strength of, you know, different, different troops. Although, I don't think it's a great test. I... I think I'm going to have to think up something else. Maybe like one troop with spells. But I just think that's a little unfair because some troops, like, they really well synergize with a certain spell. And because of that, you know, using them with that spell, it's almost unfair, you know? Because, like, miners, if you gave them heal spells on their own, it's literally like in Clash of Clans as a strategy here, I believe, when you first unlock them. Yep, just basically spam them. Like, it, I mean, I feel like it would be a little too good. I don't know. I do need to figure out what this attack strategy is. Um, oh, I didn't mean a witch. Come on, game. Bang. What is the spells here? Because I do want to try this out. I, I kind of also want to try it with E-Titans, because I know that's another popular strategy. We got three overgrowth. Two rage and a freeze. Okay. Alrighty. Three overgrowth. Two rage, a freeze. Two rage, freeze. Three overgrowth. So, what did we learn, guys? As always, what we learned is that uh, it, this is a stupid series, and I'm going to have to somehow change it up so that I actually get some sort of value out of it, and you guys do as well. I'll probably start throwing in spells because we've learned our lesson. Spells are important. Now we got to figure out, you know, how to spice it up other than just one troop. Because if we're just doing terribly, how much fun is that for you, for me, for anyone? It's not fun. That's right. Alrighty. Let's do some upgrades here and then end off the video, though. Because I got to get to grinding this and I got to get the video uploaded here. So I got to start figuring out editing and everything. I got to, you know, zoom through this a little bit. So. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. Wait, what? Oh, I just moved that on accident. Is that a root rider down there? Weird. It's mixed with the blimp. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Let's do an upgrade called... I want to do the Dark Elixir Drill, but I'm not gonna. Because I'm gonna save my elixir, actually, to do a Warden upgrade, I think. We're gonna do some elixir collectors here. We're only gonna do two. We're gonna save the loot, just in case... I, well, because I'm going to farm, obviously, for the clan games, and then that's going to give me enough for my warden upgrade, and I also want to do some walls, because it may not look like it, but I'm like 30 to 40 walls off being actually, um, halfway done with them to Town Hall 14 level, and then once I'm there, it's basically just like I'm caught back up with where I technically should be. Seeing as I'm a Town Hall 15, you should at least have Town Hall 14 level walls, and then you should be upgrading them to Town Hall 15 level. They should not be Town Hall 13 level. Alright. 
that's all I got for y'all today. We're gonna start adding in spells, I think, to this stuff. Just because it's it's kind of boring without the spells. We, we all know what's gonna happen. But maybe we'll just, like... Maybe I'll spin a wheel to see what spells I use and what siege machine. Maybe that'll work. Maybe that... That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it a little more random. So that it's, you know, a little more fair. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being goats. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Uh, the next one is going to be, I believe, a Town Hall 6 gameplay. Because we're finally on Town Hall 6 on that alt account that I created relatively recently. If you want to see, I gotta go all the way down. So many people on my friends list. Thank you guys so much for just, you know, the support, wanting to be friends, everything. But this is what we're looking like right now. Upgrading the lab, got a ton of loot, upgrading troops and everything. I should have unlocked wizards before I went to the next, or went to Town Hall 6, but I did not. And also, I did not know that at Town Hall 8, your king can go past level 10. I swear it used to be capped at level 10, but now it's capped at 20, I think. Which is insane. I swear that was never a thing. But maybe I'm thinking Town Hall 7? I don't know. I think I'm crazy. It doesn't matter. I'll see y'all in the next one. I've been droning on a little too long. Peace.